Hey, how are you? First, I want to say thank you so much for having me a part of this. I believe they appreciate it. Um, when we found out that the Olympics was going to be postponed, it was kind of a bittersweet feeling because I'm just like, wow, we, we came so far. We're ready to play on a big stage. But then I had to take a step back to this to just think about the, the extra time that we got to get better as a team, the time that we have to improve on the thing that we need to improve on to become uh, better overall. So I do think, you know, this is a blessing in disguise. We have over a year now to just prepare, get stronger, and just make some adjustments that we need to make for us to be the best that we can be. Individually, my goal would have just been, you know, keep working hard, keep being a team leader, give them all, give them my all every every game, every practice, every training, and just so much show my teammates that I have their back and I'm willing to lead them and I'm willing to follow them as well to get us to the podium for the Olympics. I would say both errors were pretty good, but I'm gonna have to go with the error that's closer to uh, my age and me really watching basketball, and that's the golden era of 2016. I think it's easy for me to watch those guys and kind of really see, you know, myself and the game. So I would have to choose that one. I've always been a Lakers fan because I've always been a Kobe fan, rest in peace. So I'm going to stick with that side. I'm a huge Laker fan. Kobe Bryant was my only favorite player, but if I had to say a second player, I would probably say Kemba Walker. He's definitely my uh, one of my favorite players. USA in the qualifying tournament in Serbia. The game was really aggressive. We we led the whole game and we just, our goal that game was to just go and have fun but also be aggressive and not back down to anybody. When we led, it was just proof that, you know, we can play with the best, we can compete at the highest level if we just come out strong and, and really give it all we got for 40 minutes. Uh, I think the reason for that loss was probably that uh, USA had a little more uh, gas up in their tank. Um, fourth quarter, the last maybe three minutes of the game, they kind of like really pushed it, pushed it at us and, and forced us to use our legs. That's what ultimately led to the loss. But either way, it, it wasn't really a loss for us because we qualified, and I'm happy how far we've come. I'm happy about about how we played against the U.S. and how we played against Serbia and Mozambique. We definitely showed uh, that we can compete at the highest level, and I'm just happy to see what, what else we can do.